Welcome to BTBS. This is Jay. Today, we will create second Ansible role, Ansible role KVM Cloud Init VM. In the deploy VM YAML file, we need to do a lot of tasks. Let me explain each task. First, 
we need to check there is same VM. I'm going to use command module to load the information using verse command and save VM exists as a register. And next, if the VM exists and VM liquidated variable is false, then this playbook will fail. Undefine existing VM, which means I'm going to delete previous VM. And also I'm going to use command line to delete the VM. There are two steps. First, destroy. I'm going to shut it down falsely and then delete. And it happened when the same VM exists and VM decreated is true. Check if CentOS Cloud Init image exists. If you already download that image, we don't need to download again. That's why we need to check the file exists or not. If there is no file, we will download that image from internet. After that, we will copy Cloud Init user data. This data is from template. I'm going to open template. Here is a bunch of data. It is for cloud init. For that, I specify several tasks. You can read cloud init information from internet in detail. In here, I set up hostname and FQDN. This can be different. You can specify different hostname, but in my case, I will use the same one. And I will copy this repository for CentOS. And after deploying CentOS, those packages will be installed. And I'm going to add new group, Docker, and I'm going to add new user. There is default that is CentOS. And I'm going to create it OCP user. And I will copy the public key from Fedora 28 to CentOS for OCP. Group as Docker, and I will give sudo permission. With this command line, we can change OCP password. You don't need to specify this one, but just for reference, I'm going to use it. So after CentOS deployed, you can access to CentOS by CentOS user ID and OCP as well. After deploy CentOS, we will remove cloud init. And also we will store cloud init log. So after you deploy, you can take a look at what was going on inside CentOS. For accessing to CentOS, we will copy Fedora public key to the CentOS. Let's get back to deploy VM. After copy user data, then we will generate cloud init metadata. After that, we will create root disk. By default, the cloud init image, the root size is 8 GB. However, it is too small. So I created new root disk for 20 GB. And also I created ISO image for cloud init. For deploying CentOS cloud init, we need ISO image booting file. Finally, we deploy a new VM using bot install command line. To confirm new VM is running or not, we will use MAC address. First, we get MAC address and then we will find which bridge they are using and then we will wait for the IP ready for VM. If we gather the IP address from VM, we understand the VM is running without any issue. Then we will eject the CD room, the ISO booting image, and we will delete the cloud init data and cloud init ISO booting image. This is a system prep YAML file. After we get new image, we need to make it possible to clone. For that, we need to do one thing here. We will add the host as a known host. And then we will access to the CentOS and delete 
the hardware address. For reference, we can also use both sysprep, but it takes a very long time from my testing. So in my project, I will use a shell module to delete the hardware address. Thank you. 